welcome back to Astoree Apothecary. This is Astoree and welcome to another formula tutorial video where I show you how to make um, one of my formulas that you can find linked in the description box below or on my website astoreeapothecary.com which is also linked in the description box. Um, but this one is our room and body spray tutorial, specifically a clear room and body spray tutorial. Now, as I say in the formula, there will always be those finicky fragrance oils that just will not cooperate and still may give you trouble. But for the most part, you should be able to get clear sprays with this formula. So as you've been seeing here, I have been working on the first part of the formula. I think in the formula that I wrote, I actually wrote the phases where you do the second part that I'm showing first and then the other part. But either way, it doesn't matter. So the first part that I just did there was the, I guess you could consider that the water phase where I put in um, the distilled water, my perfumer's alcohol, my, and my preservative. And in this part, I am actually doing my solubilizer phase. It is very important to do these phases separately. This is what helps you get your clear spray. You want to mix your fragrance oil or essential oil with your chosen solubilizer. In this tutorial, I am using poly, sorry, nope. I am using um, hydrogenated castor oil. And in just a moment, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I have measured out my fragrance oil and there it is. I get mine from New Directions, which all the links for all of these products are in the um, formula when you purchase it. And as you see, it's kind of like a solid, depending on the temperature in your room or where it's stored, it may be a little bit thinner, but it's like a, like a little bit of a grainy paste, um, but it mixes in with your oil relatively easy. You're gonna see though that I get a little impatient with the mixing and you can do this if you would like. You can actually heat up your um, hydrogenated castor oil just a little bit to help everything mix together and go clear a little bit easier. But you can also just keep mixing until you get that clear consistency. It's going to be sort of like a gel. And this is actually the same whether you use polysorbate 80. Um, and I believe also with polysucamose D9. I don't really use it, but I have researched it and I um, see a lot of people use it. And it is considered EcoCert if that is something that you are concerned about. Um, so you see, I'm just mixing it and it sort of makes, like I said, sort of like a jelly texture and you could go ahead and move on to the next steps with this part, but I am going to take this bowl, which is a glass bowl that I just got from like the dollar store, I believe, and place it on my hot plate just to warm it up slightly and it will, um, go clear after that. So that's what I'm about to do now off to the side. Also, let me know what you think about this angle. I was gifted a new phone stand um, and, you know, camera stand, and it allows me to do overhead angles, which I have been wanting to do. So um, let me know what you think. So there I'm showing the consistency. You see it looks like a gel. You could go on to your next step after this, but I was just being extra thorough slash paranoid <laughs> so I have um, like I said this is back to the water phase which has the distilled water perfumers alcohol and my preservative I like to use when I'm making a body mist or a room spray I like to use water and um, and I'm just showing here that I'm using a water soluble dye this is not a requirement you can if you choose to um, but I like to use the water and I do explain this in the formula um, and not only does it stretch your formula a little bit further um, It's not a full alcohol if you choose to use it as a room spray and it happens to get on any of your linens um, If you wanted to make something that was more of a professional perfume, that's a completely different tutorial um, and that you would just you want to use your just your alcohol But in this one, I like to stretch it a little bit further so I'm going to take the 
the solubilizer fades off of the heat i'm trying to show you that it is clear but it has some bubbles on the top um, and i'm gonna spray it a little bit with some 91 percent alcohol to try to dissipate the bubbles a little bit just because i really wanted you to see it again i am being impatient if you just let it sit for a second it will clear in fact you can already see that it's starting to clear um, but perfumer's alcohol is imperative, not isopropyl alcohol, not Everclear. Most places you are not allowed to make products and sell that. Um, you want to use perfumer's alcohol. And I do, again, give links to a couple of resources in the formula for where you can find some. Um, but this is what allows you to have a long lasting scent that disperses well and also is safe to be breathing in. I do want to make one disclaimer um, if you choose to use a water soluble dye for your coloring and it does have to be a water soluble dye mica will not um, disperse as we know it's not soluble in water or oil it will sit in the oil but it will just sink to the bottom in a water-based formula so we don't want to use mica um, so definitely a water soluble dye but a little bit goes a long way and I would just be careful on any of your fabrics um, as too much could possibly cause staining. I am not sure what I am doing right now, um, but you see the solubilizer and fragrance oil going clear there and that's exactly what we want. It's slightly warm. It's nothing that's going to harm the fragrance, I'm um, sorry, the preservative. Um, if you do choose to warm it up, just make sure that you check the temperature and that it's not going over the recommended um, temperature for your preservative but you see it's nice and clear and that's exactly what we want you want that phase to be clear before you mix it into that water phase I am going to yeah I'm just showing you that and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in I've added my dye um, so now I've got a nice little red color this is the apple cider donuts fragrance and you see it went a little bit cloudy and then it is clear a little bit more mixing and I'm going to actually scrape out that last little bit because we want every drip drop. Alrighty. And it is mixed in. I'm making a mess. I'm going to clean that up. But as you see, it's nice and clear. Um, that step of putting your fragrance or your essential oil into your solubilizer until it goes clear is very important that helps prevent clouding again there are some just annoying fragrances and uh, essential oils that are just going that are just boogers and they don't like to cooperate but I have tested this with multiple fragrances and even ones that um where I use polysorbate 80 and it would not go clear no matter how much I use it works with this um, so I am just measuring mine out into some four ounce spray bottle, well, into some four ounce bottles, and I'm going to put a mister lid on them. And as you can see, it is nice and clear. I do suggest letting this sit for about a week to let the perfumer's alcohol and the water and the fragrance and everything mix together nicely. Um, and actually the longer that it sits, any alcohol smell will begin to dissipate and you'll just have your beautiful fragrance left over. I have been testing this for about two weeks now. Oh, and there's my baby girl in the background. And this is why I'm doing a voiceover <laughs> because nine times out of ten while I'm recording, she is also adding her own commentary in the background. Um, but I really love this formula. It's pretty quick and simple. And like I said, I like to let mine sit for about a week. The longer you let it sit, the better it will be. And let me know if you would like something a little bit more, um, what's the word, in depth as far as more of a perfume as opposed to just like a body mist or a room spray. And I would love to work on something like that for you. But this is basically it. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you need any tips or anything in the comments below. And like I said, you can find this formula in the description box below and I will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you for our next video make sure if you do try out this formula please please share it on your social medias tag me so i can see it and comment and tell you just how amazing you are um and if you do purchase this formula you do get a link to the facebook group i would love to see you in there 
And again, I just, oh, Riley and I say thank you. <laughs> and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.